All right, Donnie Van Curen joins us here with, I think, advice a lot of us can use. It's uh, not parents. just, uh, yeah, parents, yeah, talking to your kids. How do you talk to your kids? You, you have right. good advice in here on, like, how you bring up these subjects and how you kind of find mm -hmm. out what's going on in their day. Right. Without them really knowing that you're snooping around. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be really helpful. Um, we asked viewers to send us questions, and you get a lot of questions mm -hmm. from people. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at one in particular. It says, Donnie, my fourth grade son seems highly anxious lately. He doesn't like to be alone and has started complaining about going to school. This is new to him and us. How can we approach him without making it worse? And that's signed off by Alice. And what's important is the tips, and we've talked about some of them ahead of time. It's really applicable to so many situations right, right. as a kid and a parent. So yeah. if you want to just talk us through some yeah. of the things we should be talking to our kids about. Well, anxiety is so big right now, and I appreciate the message because this is a question I get a whole lot. I mean, kids are going through anxiety more than they ever have before mm -hmm. uh, in our history. And, you know, a combination of things I think we're all very aware of. But a few things that advice I would give is, first of all, you know, find out what's wrong. And that's not always easy when you're talking about a third grader, fourth grader, fifth grader. So, you know, ask non-threatening questions. And that's, like. you know... Tell me the best thing that happened today. What's the worst thing that happened today? Just something that's very open-ended, because if you sit there, okay, what's wrong, what's going on? You, you get them to probably not talk to you. Mm -hmm. And then another thing I like is create that unhurried uh, connection. Um, if a parent goes into their kid's room and just lays on the bed with no agenda, you know, that's non-threatening. It can open up dialogue. And so we want them to open up naturally as opposed to shutting out like feeling they can't talk to us about something. Because we're trying to open up that anxiety and sometimes they're comfortable with their parents and sometimes they're not. Does it matter when you plan that time with your kid? As long as it's non-threatening, as long as it's not hurried. Um, okay. With a parent, it needs to be something where you don't have a time limit. Where yeah. you know you don't have to run off. That's yeah. exactly right. And then another thing is when discussing a topic, when the topic first comes up and you finally figure out what's made them worry, maybe it's a bully or something like that, a few tips that I would focus on. First of all, listen attentively, fully focused on your child. You'd be surprised how many parents don't do this. You know, listen to them. Keep the eye contact. Make sure you're encouraging their eye contact as well. If they're looking down, say, hey, look at me. I, I, I want to see your eyes. Because really, they feel that sincerity. That's so true. Because yeah. I find so many times I'm like telling my son, okay, put your device down. Put your iPad down. And then I take a call on my right. phone or I right. look at a text, you know. So Absolutely. it goes both ways. Absolutely. Also, normalize their struggle. Hey, I understand. I, I struggle with that as well. No, that's, that, that's not, that's normal. I yeah. know I struggled. So when you normalize it, they don't feel like they're odd. Avoid judging with facial expressions and comments. Oh, I can't believe you're doing that. Why are you worried about that? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's hard for us because we may minimize their worry. Like, that's no big deal. But then they're like, well, 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 why am I worrying about it? And they need to feel that that's okay. And then avoid just throwing out quick oh. fixes. And, and this is probably more the dad than the mom. And when the dad says, well, here's what you need to do about it. Just do it. Now we're done. Yeah. And so good. those are some things that it help your help will help your young person open up, and these dialogues can happen more and more because anxiety will happen more and more throughout their life. Good I'm tips. checking all those boxes. Okay. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, we're gonna have a conversation with our kids Why are tonight. you doing that? Why is that a big deal? <laughs> Gosh, I'm guilty of that one for sure. No, that's good good information, Donnie. Thank you. And if you have a question for Donnie, send it to askdonnie at news9.net, or you can visit his website, counseling1820.com.